Look at the size of that lobster right there. He's going in. Look at the colors on that thing. Oh my gosh. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are here at Aquarium Shop. Andy actually just got in a massive lobster, a lobster that we're actually allowed to keep for ourselves. As you guys know, here in Florida, we have lobsters everywhere, but you're not legally allowed to take them for any aquariums or anything of that sort. Unless it is seasoned, you can eat them but we found a Spanish lobster. So this isn't a Florida lobster, Spanish lobster, and it's probably one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Big enough to maybe go in the saltwater pool pond. We're gonna get a close up on him once we get him out of the aquarium, see how he does, then bring him over to the pond and kind of judge whether he's able to go in there or not. But for the most part, right now, he's going in the saltwater pond. And we're gonna head in there and check this guy out. Let's go through these tanks. He sends one of these tanks, so we're gonna try to find him. Looks like Andy just got a whole bunch of new fish. So if you guys wanna check out Aquarium Shop, and get some new fish maybe, I'm gonna have Andy's link right down in the description down below. Go check him out, let him know Nick sent you. Uh, I see the lobster. Look at the size of that lobster right there. So that is a Spanish lobster apparently. And I think they get a couple inches bigger than this, maybe like eight inches total, like their body. But he's still like, I would say he's like teenager size. So he still has a lot of growth to do. But I mean, compared to my hand, you can't really see yet. Look at him, dude, look at his, his tentacles. Oh my gosh, he's following my hand with them. That is so crazy. He wants to come home with us. We're getting him. Let's get him. Honestly, this is gonna be pretty sick. Never owned a lobster this big, especially for the saltwater pond. Just cause we can't get our hands on something like that. This is honestly pretty rare to get in stock. So we literally just have to take advantage of this opportunity, get this guy. And then we now have a lobster like you all have been asking for. Also, you remember how I was saying we don't know if he's like able to go in the saltwater pond right now. So what we may do we may put him in the 200 gallon, let him grow a little couple, a couple more inches, and then move him to the saltwater pond. But either way, whether it's the new saltwater pond or this saltwater pond, he's going in one of those, and he's gonna be uh, pretty sick. Just seeing a lobster crawl around, I think it will be a really cool addition. Definitely different. Oh, there you go, right there. So that right there is one of the little blue Spanish lobsters. And you can see how pretty he is. Can I put my hand in there, Andy? Look at how cool this blue lobster is. Oh, that thing's Oh sick. my, that would be cool for the mini pond. If you guys think we should get the mini lobster for the mini saltwater pond, comment down below right now or give this video a like. Let's get like uh, 15,000 likes and we'll be picking this guy up. Oh, and he's getting the big boy right now. Is that one of the biggest ones you've seen, Andy? This is one of the biggest ones I've seen. All right, he's going in. Look at the colors on that thing. He's got like white spots. Oh, he's a big boy, Andy. <laughs> he's a big boy. Oh, look at that. Bunch of holes. <laughs> That's another thing. Comment down below right now what we should name our new Spanish lobster. He's not a spiny, he's a Spanish. Jose. Spanish names. Comment down below some Spanish names right now. He is a Spanish lobster, so it would only be right if we named him a Spanish name. And he's bagging up our lobster, but in the meantime, let's check out some more little things, see what else he's got. Oh, pistol shrimp. That's like one of the ones you buy. Sometimes we'll actually find pistol shrimp, wild ones, but they don't have coloration like that. They're just plain brown but they look identical and they do the same thing. And then I think, I'm pretty sure these are little sexy shrimp. That's what they're called, sexy shrimp. Right, Ty? Is that a sexy shrimp? I don't know, do you find it sexy? Eh. Oh, oh, what's this little guy doing? He's bigger than the anemone. He's like all up in that thing. It's like, ah. Must feel good. Ah. What else? Oh, look at that, so it's a baby chubs. Baby chubs right there. That's what chubs used to look like, but he's now he's now about this big, but same kind of puffer fish, stars and stripes. If you guys wanna get the same puffer fish as us, come to Aquarium Shop, they got one right now. As I think we need more community fish in the 200 gallon. I think, what do you guys think? I feel like just as it being the show tank, there should be a lot more fish swimming through there and stuff. So if you guys wanna see another like stocking video where we come to Aquarium Shop and we just get a whole bunch of new fish, for the 200 gallon. Let me know in the comments down below or give this video a thumbs up. I know I keep saying it, but that's like our only way of us knowing that you guys want to see it. So one of the two. Look at the starfish. He's coming out right now. This is probably one of the coolest things I've seen in a while, just because of how established it is and everything's kind of doing its own thing. You got a big old starfish in there that looks like an octopus and acts like one, it eats out of your hand. Literally, I've fed it fish before. That's gotta be the biggest cleaner shrimp I've ever seen in my life. No, like the biggest cleaner shrimp I've ever seen in my life. Oh my, God. oh my gosh, it's right. And we got our big old lobster in the bag right here. This guy is gonna be a really, really cool addition. Big shout out to Aquarium Shop for always hooking it up. We are now gonna get home and get this guy in the saltwater pond. 
We are back at the saltwater pool pond. This thing's looking really, really good. We just did a whole water change. Everything's kind of out right now. Stingrays cruising around, blue and yellow cod, emperor snapper. But we were debating, me and Ty, if we should put this guy in here or if we should grow him out in the 200 gallon. Let him get a little more, in, let him get some more inches on him and then move him to the pool pond. I think that would just be the best bet for the lobster overall. This guy is awesome looking and we don't want to take the chances of him getting possibly eaten by the bumblebee grouper. Because if you guys don't know, bumblebee grouper's favorite food is actually a lobster. So I think just he's, he's like just making that size where I think he can get eaten. We have put lobsters in here before and we tried feeding them to the bumblebee grouper, but they were too big and he couldn't eat them. But this guy, I think he's just a little bit too small. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the 200 gallon, get this guy acclimated and then get him in there. And then by the time he's like two more inches than he already is, we'll be going in the saltwater pond. <sighs> Here he goes, we're gonna get him into a bucket. Then once we get him in the bucket, we'll get the drip line going, but oh, oh, oh he's uh, not that happy. We don't want his spines coming off, or his tentacle things coming off, but I want you guys to get a good look. Look at how pretty that lobster is. There he goes, boom, right into the bucket. Look at how pretty, I mean, you can literally see all the white dots. He has a little purple on his uh, the front there. So pretty. Got the drip line right here. You guys already know the whole process we do. We'll give him about, say, 20 to 30 minutes, just like that, and then we'll be ready to go in. Well, that guy's acclimating. Let's go over to our stonefish real quick. And I got a silver side right here. I want to show you guys how he blows up on top of the water. And you're done. Ooh. Ooh. That's so scary, dude. Just because those spines right there, if they hit you, yeah. Oh, he's out right now. Dude, he's looking for fish. Watch this. I'll grab him one. So sick. So you know the one that we saw at Andy's? That's the same starfish, but a smaller version. You know how I was telling you guys how he like hand feeds and stuff? This one does the same thing. Look, look, he smells it. Like Dude, he's got it. He's like, an, I think this thing's cooler than an octopus. Look at that. And then he'll just take that down and bring it into like one of his little caves. He eats that whole thing? Whole thing gone and you saw how big they get so he's gonna be a big boy and he'll be going in the saltwater pond one day Whew. <sighs> out of breath we just did a lot in like two minutes literally fed that guy fed him fed these guys fed that fed that i think you settle down i do i'm gonna take a seat our spanish lobster is done acclimating we're gonna get him in his new aquarium. This guy he should do pretty good in here. He's not gonna mess with anything. Sunshine, our banana more eel back there, is actually way too small to eat a lobster this size. And all our other fish, he probably won't mess with. They're all pretty, pretty quick fish, so he won't be able to actually capture them. This guy does eat fish, so we'll be hand feeding him just like we do with our starfish. We'll give him like little sardines and stuff. But for the most part, I think he'll find a little home in there, a little cave, and then that will be his spot, and we'll see him every now and then, so. Here we go. Got him in my hands, dude. That thing is sick. Oh my gosh. Look at how pretty that thing is. Here he goes. Right back into the corner. Look at him. He's gonna go right back in there. I already know it. And we're just gonna see his tentacles hanging out. He's going way up in there. Way back in there. He's now, he's gonna be a little frightened. He has no clue where he's at, but once he gets used to the aquarium and everything, he'll absolutely love it in here. And he's got plenty of space. I mean, this is 200 gallons, so he's with all the rock and all the space, He'll have, oh my, uh, hello Ribbon Eel. But uh, yeah, he'll have a lot of spots and hiding spots to choose from and I think he'll do really, really good. But if you guys haven't already, comment down below some names for our new Spanish lobster. I mean, he's, he's pretty big. He's got a little orange to him if that gives you any ideas and he's uh, Spanish, so. But with that being said, we finally got a new lobster. We're gonna keep this guy in here, feed him up, get him a little bigger and then we'll move him over to the saltwater pond just so nothing messes with him. And it's not like he's gonna go anywhere in here. He's gonna just, it's gonna be a kind of little grow out tank. And like I said, once he's big enough, we'll go in the saltwater pond. But with that being said, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what you guys wanna see next. And also we are about to hit 500,000 subscribers. It's been two years of doing YouTube almost every other day. And we are literally about to hit half a million subscribers, which is like mind blowing. Big thank you to all of you who has subscribed and supported this channel since day one. Without you guys, I wouldn't be where I'm at. So big thank you to you all. With that being said, road to 1 million one day. Let's go and back, see y'all in the next back, one. Back, see ya! Back, back.